Hello, hi, I am Dr. Shantanu Bhag, one of the pediatric consultants at RN Tagore Hospital, Kolkata. Uh, many people think that COVID might not actually infect the children, but they do get the infection. Uh, but fortunately, most of these infections are, uh, uh, are quite mild, uh, you can say, and many of them won't probably won't get any symptoms. And some, most of them will get minor symptoms like fever, mild cough, uh, those who can express bit of sore throat and they can get diarrhea, vomiting, uh, bit of rash, so like any other viral infections. And uh, uh, although I have told that the, most of them will get minor infections, but some of them, uh, although rarely, uh, they can get very sick. Okay. So, yes, and if we look at the data, the last year, uh, the most of the children, uh, or most of these information, as I just expressed, um, the, the children often didn't get the infections or very mild infections. But this year, although it's a bit early to say that um, probably children are getting infections and symptomatic infections with fever and often the high gate fever more frequently than the last year. Uh, although that initial data from um, uh, Mumbai, they don't suggest that there is a, a significant increase. But again, we'll have to wait um, uh, for the uh, more data uh, but yes we do have the experience and that the, we are seeing more children with symptomatic covid infection this year now as you uh, ask me that how we can prevent i think the is the same measures which are well advertised by the government and the other um, uh, in the social media and everywhere that yes first of all it's maintaining social distancing okay um, uh, maintaining respiratory hygiene, don't cough everywhere, try to cough in the tissues or in your uh, folded elbows, frequent hand washing for at least 20 seconds, use of proper use of mask, okay. And as I told the proper use of mask, uh, that's important in children because young children, they often can't handle the mask. And once someone is using mask, it's very important that uh, actually they can use it properly. So they need kind of uh, supervision and Current recommendation, the children more than five years should use mask if that is available. That means the supervision and if they can use it safely. And it might not be true even if someone is above more than five years but developmentally delayed or somehow someone has got other issues. But yes, above five years they can try to use the mask to avoid the infections. But children more than 12 years or the, the older children, they should definitely, definitely use the masks to prevent the infections. Now, according to what I told there also, it's important to, to, to uh, uh, avoid the social gatherings and we know that we are staying at home, the people are, people are quite frustrated and, uh, and bored and they don't want to waste a, any chance of going out. But it's very important that because of the second wave and that more children are, aff are being affected, so it's important that people stay at home and including the children. Um, the the other thing is that if you have any other family members, because children are, children are get the infection mostly from the adults, so if there are other family members uh, who has signs or symptoms of COVID, uh, they should immediately be investigated and uh, isolated so that they can't spread the infection. I think these are the basic measures which we can follow now and. Uh, uh, of course, if the schools open in future, then we'll de definitely there will be other measures to take uh, which have been well delineated by WHO.